I've noticed the rusty bowl back there. <laughs> is that it? Is that what you hit? That is the authentic the rusty bowl. bowl. Do you want to <laughs> hold so it? Amazing. Do I want to hold Rusty's bowl? Of yeah. course. May I? Of course. Yep. <laughs> this has been the best interview of my life. All right, everyone, we're here with Witch Doctor in season six of BattleBots, Andrea and Rick. How is it going, guys? It's going awesome. We're so excited to be back and to be back at BattleBots with an audience. Yes. So this is our sixth year doing this, like you said, and it, it just gets better and better every year. I mean, consistently, Witch Doctor and your, your whole team comes back with this amazing, aesthetically beautiful robot. How does it feel to know that everyone expects like just this pristine beauty? <laughs> every year. Well, first of all, thank you. That It really means a lot to us. <laughs> I can't help it. It's amazing. But you know, we're trying to stand out in a field of, I think it's like 70 robots. Yeah. And there's so many kids watching at home right. that this has to look like something that is made for them and that they can do. Right. If this is ugly and dirty and professional looking, <laughs> it doesn't look like something they can do. So that's really important for us. Of course. And I mean, this is this is the kind of thing that like inspires people to make something awesome too. And like style is a huge thing at BattleBots, so you're definitely a front runner there. What's new with Witch Doctor this season? These are actually the most changes we've made to Witch Doctor since yeah. 2018, where we first debuted this type of design. Right. A big change that we made this year is we used to have all our weapon belts right in the middle. Mm -hmm. And that's because it was easier to put them there. It required a lot of changes to do it differently, but right. this year we have them on the outside. Oh, okay. So far, so good. We haven't lost one yet. <laughs> Um, and also our weapon motors are tucked down into the robot, so we have this intermediate shaft that let us do that. So there's a little bit more complexity, but so far it's been working great. Rick, can you tell me how kind of, like, what's, what's Witch Doctor's record looking like right now? Right now we're looking pretty good every fight. We fix here and there, polish, tune, and usually uh, by this point we're bringing the best bot we got. And <laughs> last time I was here is 2019, and. When we got to this point, we were having a solid bot, so right. I'm pretty hopeful for this next match. Oh, should we get our hat? Or oh, we'll do that in the hat. For the Rusty fight, with Rusty, the most iconic part is his hat, so we thought we'd pay homage to him and make a top hat for Stop. our robot. That it's a Rusty. Pot. Yeah, so it says Rust in Peace. It has a light on the inside, the iconic bird. This is the most phenomenal thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Was it? Was yeah. this a last minute, like, run down the street, find a pot? Yeah, over <laughs> breakfast we were talking about it and there was a dollar store. So we're like, well, we'll see if there's a pot. And then we found this top oh hat looking goodness. pot. And then someone was like, I brought ribbon so we could put ribbon on it. And it just escalated <laughs> and kept growing. You made this here? Yeah. When you find out you were going to fight yeah. Rusty? Yep. That's insane. We were very conflicted going into the fight with Rusty. Sure. I mean, even if you win, you lose because it's Rusty, it's rusty. you know? <laughs> so it was our, our last fight card fight. Oh so we had to beat Rusty to get into the tournament. Right. And when we walk down the tunnel, everybody in the audience is chanting Rusty, Rusty, Rusty. Oh, that's a nightmare. Go so, Rusty. yeah, <laughs> you should see our lone voice from the audience. You better not hurt Rusty. So we did what we had to do. You know, he actually had a lockjaw let him one of their wedges to prepare against us. So he took off the hammer and he became like a lifting wedge bot. So it was also a wrestling we'd never seen before. It was an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> but Dave is awesome. He really liked our hat. He was nice enough to give us a top of Rusty. So now we have matching hats. Oh my goodness. And yeah, it, it ended up being a really great fight. And Rusty's actually a really tough bot. It was not a one hit KO. Right. So what was your strategy going into the Rusty fight? Our, our biggest concern with Rusty was that we were going to underestimate us and he was going to come out of nowhere and surprise us. Because Rusty doesn't really fit into any of the big robot categories. Right. So we've never fought anything like Rusty. Sure. So um, he had this actuated plow, like I said, so we went to try to rip that off first. And luckily we were able to get him uh, in a situation where he couldn't self right anymore. Ooh. And uh, we actually broke his plow in, in half. So I like to say that we gave Rusty two plows. We didn't destroy the one he had. So <laughs> I'm keeping it positive. <laughs> I've noticed the rusty bowl back there. <laughs> is that it? Is that what you hit? That is the authentic the rusty bowl. bowl. Oh my god. So goodness. I don't care what else happens in this tournament. That's that's my giant nut right there. <laughs> <laughs> so where is this where is this gonna live? I don't know. I don't know where it would be worthy for something like this. In the workshop? I think we, we're gonna have to eat popcorn out of it for every match like Rusty does. So we'll, we'll have matching popcorn bowls. That's the most beautiful thing. <laughs> you hold so it? amazing. Do I want to hold Rusty's bowl? Of yeah. course. And yes, we have worn it. May I? Of course. Yep. Do you want me to hold this for you? 
think I got it. It holds a lot of power. Now you look good. This has been the best interview of my life. This year, BattleBots is not in Long Beach, it's in Las Vegas. How has that been? Well, if you watch the Amazon Remars tournament, that was the last time we were in Las Vegas in 2019. Wow. And Witch Doctor had a lot of luck there. So we're, <laughs> we're hoping that that's a sign for this season. Vegas has been kind of our good luck charm. And we're having a lot of fun with it. We made poker chips, we made cards. Uh, so, so we're loving it here. It's nice to have a, to mix it up for once. You've seen everyone delivering their poker chips, like making sure that everyone has a piece of each other's team. So we saw that, and we were like, "This is really cool." We were like, "How can we get in on this and like make something really special for the teams?" So we thought, "What if Ooh. we created a chip for toy owners?" Oh, that's to cool. an exclusive club. This is yours now. It's as good as a winner's pot. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. That's amazing. Oh yeah, that would look great on TV. <laughs> Witch Doctor has been a toy for so long. What does it mean to have a, a Hexbug toy of your own creation? I mean, I've been building battle bots like this since I was 14 years old, and it's always been this crazy sport that like my parents don't understand, and my friends think I'm crazy. So to have that transition, not only to an international uh, show, but into stores at Target, and to see pictures on Facebook of kids wanting to get Witch Doctor, playing with Witch Doctor, it's it's beyond a dream come true. This has been Andrea and Rick from Team Witch Doctor <laughs> from season six of BattleBots. We'll see you next time.